Hello again. So here we are back in the shop. What we're going to do this this uh, time is we're going to do some epoxy. So right now I have some epoxy. I'm stirring it all together. And this epoxy comes in two parts. This bigger bottle here and this smaller bottle here. And what you do is you mix these two parts together in a 3 to 1 ratio. Now, you can either mix it in a 3 to 1 ratio based on weight or based on volume. It doesn't matter. So I bought myself this little scale here, and I do it by weight. So uh, I'll take a spare cup. I'll pour some stuff in there. I'll put it on here, weigh it out, and uh, figure what it, what it is minus the, uh, the weight of the um, container. And then, you know, I'll take another cleaner cup, and I'll pour one-third of this mixture into the cup and then mix them together. And then you need to stir it for, oh, a, a good four or five minutes to make sure it's all mixed together, the two different parts. And what I do too is I have several different colors of, um, of uh, powdered dye. I've chosen the blue one. I've dumped some blue dye into this and mixing it all up in together. Now this is gonna take a minimum 24 hours to dry. What I'm going to use the epoxy for is I have this piece of wood here. Again, I'm making a breadboard from, but it has this great big knot in it. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to fill that knot up with epoxy. And then I've made three um, keepsake boxes. There's one of them. And there's another. And there's another. And what I'm going to do is I am going to uh, put epoxy into them. Normally what I do is I normally flock the inside of a keep sick box. That's, you know, glue and spreading and then blowing that uh, fiber into it. I think I've shown you that before. But this time I just thought I'd pour some epoxy into the bottom because I'm making epoxy up for this right here. So very simple process. I finished gluing as much as or stirring as much as I want to stir. And so I'm just going to put you back into the little cradle here. Hopefully you can continue to see uh, what I'm doing here. I go, hopefully, hopefully you can. If not, you're not. Oh, the other thing you got to do is because this takes so long to dry, what you have to do is make sure that everything you're pouring it into has to be 100% level. If it's not 100% level, then what it's going to do is over the 24 hours it takes to dry, is it will flow to the level spot. And if your work isn't level, um, so if I put it in this box, all the epoxy would run to one end, not be level across the bottom. So I've taken some of these painter sticks and I've put it underneath my work in order to make the work level. That's an important part, okay? Now, this stuff, once it gets onto something, it gets onto it, okay? It's pretty tough to clean it up. It's also very, very tough to clean it up after it's dried. You, you just have to sand it and sand it and sand it. It's, it's very difficult. So what you want to do is be careful on the pour, not to get it where you don't want it. And if you do get some where you don't want it, then clean it up as best as you can before it dries. Okay. So let's see how this goes. Um, what I'm going to do, so I'm just going to pour some, I'm just going to pour some into one of these right here. So let's uh, take a look to see how it works. All right. There's some in there. Okay. You can see how it is leveling itself out. Okay. I'm going to pour, I guess, a little bit more into this end. I'm going to let it run down there. Cover everything that I want it to cover. Okay. So there you can see that it's in there. I'm just going to put a level on this, and you can see that that box is level. So hopefully, all of that epoxy over the next 24 to 36 hours is going to dry nicely in there. This is, again, as you can see, level. 
so I'm pretty happy with where it sits. Okay, I'm going to take my epoxy and I'm going to pour it in there. I've got to put this back in here just to use both hands because again I don't want to get this everywhere where I don't want it to be. I'm going to pour it in here, fill up that hole. without overfilling it, okay? I don't want to overfill it because then it'll spill everywhere. But I still got to get some in here. Yeah, Let's see, I'm starting to get it everywhere. All right, so I've got a, a small little lip here. I'm gonna try and pour it into some of these smaller spots. Not working for me. I have just made a mess. All right, I'm gonna clean it up as best as, as I can. Because if I don't, it's just gonna be hours and hours and hours of me sanding. That's actually not too bad right there. I would like it to be better, a little bit less messy than, you know, what I just did. But, you know, it is what it is. I think I can sand off that, that excess pretty easily and I'll be happy with that. So, just to give you a, a quicker, uh, better look at it. That's how that's going to look. Now I have obviously put a lot of tape on it and hopefully that tape is going to stop that epoxy from running out the hole on the other side. Hopefully. And so I'm going to take the rest of my epoxy and I'm going to pour it into these two keepsake boxes and I'll show you the results later on. Okay. Thanks for watching.